Hey, hey, hot tubbers. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what is the best hot tub for winter climates. It is important that you keep your hot tub wellness and relaxation routine going all year round. And we're gonna talk about exactly how to do that right now. Hey, I'm Jackie, the hot tub lady. And in this video, I'm going to talk about different brands of hot tubs and which ones you should buy if you live in a winter climate. It's important that you get something that is fully insulated and can handle cold winters. I live in South Dakota, and this is one of the places that hot tubs can and will freeze if they're not insulated properly. So one of the most important things that I could actually tell you on a hot tub is that you wanna make sure you get something that is fully insulated. And there's lots of ways to do that. I'm a hot spring girl you guys all know this and one of the things that they do is on their high life series they have full foam insulation and in my opinion that is definitely the best way to go it's what's popping up in all the million dollar houses that are showing up here in, in the South Dakota area and it is built it is spray in foam and it is built to handle our winners and it's really really important if you're not gonna do the closed cell full foam insulation the other insulation that you should do is you should just do a full foam insulation or there's also some stuff called fiber core that's out there other brands that are out there that do use full foam insulation those are going to be hot springs limelight series hot springs hot spot series um, you're also going to find the fantasy and free flow hot tubs those are all full foam insulation as well the other hot tubs that are out there caldera does a really good job and they're a fiber core insulation fiber core is great because it's a loose pack wool base insulation and what that is is they fill the hot tub from top to bottom all the way up with a loose pack insulation it's absolutely fantastic because if there ever ever is a leak you can actually suck out the insulation repair the leak and actually put it back into the hot tub it's it's a really innovative way to do that you're gonna find that in a couple brands caldera will do that and then the hot springs limelight will do that as well so those are some really really good hot tubs to do that but but you definitely want to get something that is fully insulated. Your hot tub is going to last longer and it's going to be much more efficient to run. You know, if you go to the Hot Springs website, it'll actually break down for you and I'll put a link down below. It'll actually break down for you all the different costs that it actually would cost you to run a hot tub in different markets with the insulation that those would have. Other brands that are fully insulated that do a really good job. Sundance is a really good, good hot tub with full insulation. Jacuzzi Premium is a really good with full insulation. Dimension One, they, they do a pretty good job over there as well. Those are all fully insulated hot tubs. And there's a lot of other brands that I'm probably missing here, but you definitely want to get something that is fully insulated. Now you are gonna hear some things out there from some of the brands that are not fully insulated. And if you go shopping there and be like, oh, don't do that because if the hot tub ever were to leak, it's going to cost you a fortune to fix that. Not gonna lie. It is relatively expensive to fix an in foam leak on a fully insulated hot tub but you would never build a house in the Midwest without insulation because it may someday need some repairs it is really really important that you have that hot tub insulated so that it can actually handle our winners so really check into that that's a big deal and reality is is if your hot tub is fully insulated it's probably not going to leak so something that you can think about so everywhere there's a jet in a hot tub there is a glue joint so you've got the jet and then you've got the pipe and then you've got the big pipe that runs all the way around the hot tub and then all those jets come off of that and so the hot tub is pumping water through a big two inch pipe and it is glued to those jets and that's what's supporting that and every time that jet pump kicks on that big two inch pipe shakes and wiggles well water is really heavy water is nine pounds a gallon and if you go let's say a two foot section of that pipe it's got about two gallons of water so that's 18 gallons of water and that's pulling down on all of those jets and if there's no insulation supporting that that pipe is going to wiggle and as that wiggles it's going to work on loosening up those glue joints there's just no way around it it's just a fact of life and eventually you're going to have a leak now if that happens on a non-insulated hot tub so let's say you have a hot tub with a 
with a styrofoam wall around it and then that those pipes are easy to get to, but there's nothing supporting that weight. It's eventually going to wiggle and that's gonna, it's gonna leak and it's gonna leak way sooner than something like a hot springs hot tub where that insulation is sprayed in all the way around that and supporting that. So not only do you get better energy costs because the hot tub is better insulated, you have way less chance of that hot tub ever leaking because it's supporting those pipes. And the hot tubs, honestly, they're gonna be much quieter to run. So when you're out looking for a hot tub for a winter environment, you definitely wanna make sure that you're getting something that is fully insulated. I highly recommend it. I do sell hot tubs that are not fully insulated and they do okay. But if you are in a winter market, I would tell you for my own backyard, I would definitely make sure that I have a hot spring spa in my backyard here in South Dakota, but you can definitely check it out. But there are some things that do affect the cost. A fully insulated hot tub is gonna be more expensive than a non-fully insulated hot tub, but it's gonna cost you way less to run. Again, check the link out down below where Hot Springs actually shares the cost of running a hot tub. And I think that you will find that that's, that's a pretty important thing to know. So, hey guys, stay warm, get the best hot tub for you. Be sure to check out this video right over here. I think you're gonna like it a lot and I will see you soon.